everyone. This is for the next 20 minutes. We're going to begin our yoga practice here at the library. Please begin by standing. Bring your hands to your heart to bring a little joy and peace inward. Stand in mountain pose. Hands in heart. Inhale the arms up. Breathe and inhale them. Exhale. Let's fold down. Keep the knees soft here and then inhale. Come up. Bring the hands to the heart, exhale. Remember now, this is about listening to your body. Inhale up, avoiding any movement, any movement at all that creates strain, tightness, tension. Use a chair if you need, use blocks. Stay seated, either way. Keep the knees soft, exhale down. Inhale, rise up. Lift up, stretch up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bringing in joy now, one more time. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And hands and heart. Exhale. Let's begin now with a different position. This position can be a little wider than where you were or closer, just change it up a little bit. Remember that we find our feet on the mat and to find some neutral alignment with the toes lifted, arches lifted, knees soft. Inhale up, exhale, sit down in a very gentle squatting position. Hips are back, ribs are back, navel is in. Find your breath here. Keep the toes lifted. Make sure you don't feel any pressure on your knees. Take one more breath. Inhale, rise up, and then bring the hands to the heart. In this chair pose or squatting position, go back into it. It's important to recognize um, your body's needs at this moment. So going too low, if it hurts the knees, lift up higher. Take another breath and stand, hands to the heart. We're going to do one more. Remember, we're just exploring now. Inhale up, squat low as you reach high. Breathing in and out. Feet are neutral, toes are lifted, arches are lifted. Just notice which side of the body is working harder and then just attempt to uh, create some balance. Take another breath, weight is in the heels, stand and come up. Let's put the two movements together. Again, we want to stand a little different. Alrighty, so as you find a neutral alignment with your feet, we're going to inhale up and take our fold forward. Exhale, knees are soft. Listen to your body, right? So your back, knees are soft to protect the back, hands to the heart. Your breath is steady. Inhale up, squat low, reach high. Breathe in and out, ribs back, belly back. Hips are neutral. Take another breath. Squat low, reach high, and come on up. Putting them together now. A little bit quicker. Inhale up, but same steady breathing. Exhale. Hear your breath. Inhale, rise up. Now, you're going to notice that if you can, you're trying to squat low, reach high. You are trying to breathe through your nose now. Squat low, reach high, and stand. Hands to the heart. We're going to add on. Just going to turn now. Stay in the position that you feel comfortable. Inhale up. Knees are soft. Exhale, fold down. Same thing, adding one element. Flat back, lift. Knees are soft. You reach the spine and head forward. And then you fold back down. Hands can be placed on the thighs. Inhale, lift. Or the shins. Or on a chair. Exhale. Now we're going to add one more flourish. Reach low and then high in your chair. Breathe through your nose. Take another breath. Last element. Stay in that chair and bring your hands to your heart. Now we're going to twist. We're going to ring out. So we're starting with bringing a little bit of joy in the body by wringing out what we don't need. Hands can separate if the shoulders allow and come back to center. That's very modified and stand. Let's flush out the hips and then again 
hands to the heart, finish, and inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold, knees are soft. We're just flowing into each series of three movements, listening to our body as we warm up. Hands to the heart, then we add that flourish. Squat low, reach high. We're going to go to the twist on the other side. So remember twisting poses. We bring out the internal organs and we stretch the body. And you listen to yourself, what your needs are. You use a chair if you need to, keeping the hips. Even. Remember, yoga is functional strength. Exhale. All right, let's put it together one more time. Inhale up. Now we add that fold. Knees are soft. Lat back, raise up. Breath is in and out through the nose, if possible. Hands to the heart each time we finish. Then we add that squat, that chair pose. Then we add our twist, breathing in and out. Some of you may choose to go a little bit lower, keep the hips square, and try to keep the belly in. Relax your shoulders, hands to the heart. We're going to go right into the other side, turning. And again, this is a little bit deeper. You don't need to go this deep. Hands to the heart. Squatting low before rising up. And hands to the heart. Exhale. All right. Relax and roll the shoulders back. Let's flush a little bit of that out by a nice wide stance. In this wide stance, your heels are going to be a little bit wider than your toes, if possible. Hips are neutral. Navel is in. Head is up. We're going to open and stretch the arms out nice and wide. From here, we're going to reach up, and then we're going to fold. So we're going to look back, arch back if you can, and then come through the heart center to fold so that you're not placing too much weight forward. The weight is back as the head comes down. Now, let's just move the knees side to side. Feel the hips shift side to side, and we're going to turn our fingers towards the back, and we're just going to walk back. Now allow the shoulders and the head to really drop here. Three deep breaths. And this is a practice of breathing upside down. So relax your jaw here. Relax your eyes. Nice massage for the belly. On your next breath out, just let it go. Try not to rush. Walk your fingers back. We're going to bend the knees. Maybe a lot, depending on your back. And then you're going to roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Now, keep your eyes open. Let your gaze go straight ahead, especially if you get a little lightheaded. Roll the shoulders back. We're going to change our feet again. Let's stand neutrally, whatever that means to you, close, apart, but similar to more of a hip width distance. Toes are lifted, arches are lifted, open your arms wide. So we're going to add on this element of right arm in, left elbow up on top. Now keep in mind everyone will have a different way of looking here. So our fingers come up. You'll notice this is eagle arms and this may be enough. This may be really difficult. So again, listen to your body. For others, a connection is really easy. Remember, yoga is functional strength. So everyone needs to listen to their own body. Functional strength, breath. Now let's just close our eyes. Find the center of our body. Focus on the breath, slow and steady through the nose. Observe, just enough too much. And then allow the shoulders to drop for one more breath. So just feel the shoulders sort of sink down as the elbows attempt to lift up. No strain in the wrist should be happening here. Take another breath. You let the breath out and then we're going to slowly release here. 
Open your eyes if you haven't already, and then just feel that change of blood flow. Wiggle your feet around, change your stance if you need. Toes lifted, arch lifted, arms out wide, this time left elbow. Again, keep in mind, sides are different, and everyone looks different. All right, easier or harder each side? Just depends. Close your eyes. Let's go right back into this eagle pose. And relax your jaw. Even notice tightness through your facial muscles. Maybe your teeth need to release. Very small little things. Shoulders are sinking down. Elbows are raising up only to your ability. I don't want to overdo here. Take another breath. And then we're going to open our eyes. We're going to come out of it because we're going to add this in. All right, so let's roll the shoulders back. We're going to change our position. Let's begin to find our balance here. Left foot is on the ground. Bring your right leg up. Open your arms. So we're going to add this eagle, top and bottom. So we have the top, now the bottom. Let's practice. All right, so remember how we did our chair pose? Let's do our chair pose, but take this right leg and wrap it around very conservatively. Keep that toe down. Now add that squat. Notice what you feel. Notice what you feel. Then very gently, very simply, right elbow again is underneath the left, and give yourself a hug. Take a deep breath through your nose. Bring in some joy. Exhale, pull out the negative, and unfurl yourself. Not fancy, right? Roll it back. Some of you are going to go right into the seagull. Others of us need to take it slow. Arms out wide, right foot stays down, left foot lifts. Explore now. All right, so one-legged squat, so that's the lower part of the eagle. We're going to be very conservative here. We're just going to wrap. Make sure your knees don't hurt. Left elbow under. Wrap it around or hug. And breathe. One breath. So squatting low, crown of the head is lifted. Breathe out and unfurl yourself. Real easy stuff. Okay, let's try it one more time. Break it down nice and easy. Right foot lifts again. Right elbow is under. And keep your toe lifted if you'd like. All right, so very conservative. Some of you will really lift that thigh up and even wrap the toe around. All right, so each pose we're going to do about three breaths. Find a bit of uh, equality in this squat. Remember, touch the toe down if you need. Take another breath, squat low. Reach high and finish up your heart center. Other side. Right foot down, left foot lifts. Wrap it around, left elbow is under. Eagle pose. Again, your breathing is the most important part. And listening safely to your body. Bringing in joy and letting go of negativity. Squat low, reach high. Let's put it together. All right, here we go. Hands to the heart. Let's put the, the sequence together. Turning one more time. Inhale up, reach up. And remember, knees bend. Exhale. Inhale, flat back lift. Bringing in joy. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Hands to the heart. Let's finish it. Then let's squat low, reach high. Here's our chair. Inhale, nothing has changed. Still listening, hands to the heart. Twist and turn to the right. So right ribs lift up, left ribs pull in. And split the hands if the shoulders allow. Take a breath. And just let it out through the nose. Hands to the heart. Come on back to center. Go to the other side now. Now, if you would like to take a little bit of a break, no apologies necessary. Otherwise, try to stay with the flow. Ribs lift left. Really massaging the belly here in these twists, letting go of negativity. Rise up. Hands to the heart. As you exhale, we're going to go right into our eagle. 
arms out wide, right foot lifts, right elbow is under, and we squat low. So you're going to wobble. You see here that that's what I'm doing. Just go back into it. Quiet your mind now. Quiet your mind. Square your hips. Squat low. Reach high. Lift up. Hands to the heart. Left side. All right. Left leg lifts. Left elbow under. Squat low. Reach high. Good. Using breath to maintain that constant, steady, calm. Squat low, reach high, and come up. Hands to your heart. A beautiful practice. Let's go ahead and take ourselves down on the mat. Beautiful practice. Your heart is a little bit raised, or at least mine is. We're going to go out wide. Nothing too fancy. Wiggle around and try to get stability here between right and left side and activate your toes just a tiny bit. You don't have to overdo with the locking of the knees. Place a pillow blanket underneath. All right, let's bring our hands to our heart. Quiet our mind now. Close our eyes. And you should feel your heart. Breath. Mind assimilates what you're feeling. Just slow everything down. Focus inward. Feel the right side and the left side. Take another breath. We're going to stay quiet here. We're going to raise our arms up just to breathe in, to fill up our body with breath. You can look up if it's comfortable. Come through the heart just to remind ourselves of the right and left side and how one side can dominate the other, so we want to bring a bit of balance. Close your eyes. And we're not going to let our head drop. We're just going to let our head relax here. Rewiggle the toes. No pressure on the knees. You're using what you have at home. And you're just breathing. So if you notice a gripping sensation or a tightness, begin to just feel that Relax as you breathe. Again, we're quieting down, connecting with heart, with breath, with mind and body. This movement of function. Take another deep breath, let it go, and kind of come up nice and slow so that you can listen and you can feel. All right, let's bring our legs together. With our legs together, go ahead and give a little shake want to do the same thing and please be careful here you want your knees to be bent you want your knees to be soft inhale up and you can use a pillow here if you need exhale and fold knees are soft and we're just stretching through the body here breathing heart rates are really going down now just a very gentle practice, a little heart uh, raising and now lowering the heart, connecting with the mind, body, breath. Inhale and walk your hands up again, nice and slow. And inhale the hands to the heart and shake out knees once again. All right, we want to finish now today's practice by sitting just for a moment comfortably. So we can work one more time on the shoulders. Right leg is in, left leg is crossed, or whatever seated position. Um, but we are going to change it. All right, so let's drop the head down. Notice that. Notice your breath. Close your eyes. So again, we're filling the body with joy. Maybe you even just say a word that connects that with you. Head to the right now. Once the head comes to the right, take your right fingers down on the mat and bring your left arm up and over. So head right, left arm up and over. And you're breathing. Left hip is dropping. You're going to come around and you're going to bring your right arm up. So go right into the other side. Stretch it. Bring it all the way up. Both hands on either side. Head lifts back to center. Quiet your mind. Just close your eyes. If that 
feels right. Head drops. Bring it over to the left this time. With the ear to the left, bring the right arm up and over. And go around. And add that left arm. Bring it up, everything up, hands to the heart. We want to shake this out. Now let's go to the other side. Last little bit here. Left leg is in or whatever way you are sitting. Sit up nice and tall, bringing in joy into a heart. Head is down. Over to the left this time first. Inhale, up and over. Right arm lifts as the head goes to the left. And bring it all the way around. And all the way around and just let this flow come on up both arms up to the heart and to the left or to the right left arm lifts and around both arms up and hands to the heart so let's finish now with practice Joy and just let go of negativity. Breathe in. Breathe out in every practice that we do. We're listening to our bodies. Breath. Creating joy in our minds. Even if it's just a little bit. Take another breath. As our head comes forward, we bring that joy into our hearts. And that light within each of us glows brightly. So that light in me celebrates the light in you. And that word, namaste, means just that. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.